So I just got off the phone with uh, Keurig, and uh, I want to show you how to reset this. Uh, but first, I already had this apart, so I need to see how it's off balance here. See that? So I need to put these screws in. I'd like to show you just a little bit about that. Keep in mind that one video that I made when there's water in the machine and you tip it upside down it will come out of that so expect to see water. But right now I'm gonna just work on the top here. Here's the inside. Now the screw is right there. Hold on, I'm going to have to get a light so you can see that. See that? Screw right there. It's right under the um, part that takes in the water with the blue light on it. But you won't have to do this. I just wanted to show you the inside since I had to uh, put this together. Again, another one deeper inside is way down there. See that? Right there in the middle of your screen. You Got to get that one in. Just I only have two hands, so I can't hold it up there. Okay, that's it. Now we'll go ahead and put this part back in. I did pop that out, that does pop out, but you might not want to play with that because if you break any of these parts, I don't know if they'll warranty it or not, or send you a new one, or however it works today. This is like 10 years old, they told me. And then uh, they were looking for the serial number. I'd also like to show you that it's under the tray show it to you right now. See that sticker? Here's the unit. That's where the serial number was. Took me a while to find it. Okay, let me find that third screw. And success. You can see. Let me unzoom this here. How much more sturdier it is. I mean, when it's on the counter, it's going to be a lot more level. So now it's time to plug it in. Put the reservoir back in and show you how to reset it. So the first thing is they'll ask you is to unplug it, plug it back in. And then you can see the water here coming out now. If that's supposed to do that. It's almost like it's draining the reservoir. Gotta make sure that part. Now that took a while, but you can see no more leaking. Now I'll just let it dry up a bit, then I'll plug it in. Okay, so we're going to turn the power button on. Now, this didn't work before. And what I did to reset it is hold all three buttons in on this unit anyhow. And I've seen some fast blink. Well, you see, also the time set set clock. But once you uh, do that, it should see that light is on again. So uh, we're just going to set it to the time. You can hear the water heating up already.
and we're going to try it out. Let's set this time, set clock. Here's PM. I didn't get PM yesterday when I did it, but so it's about oh, 7.30. I'm going to take this back upstairs so it doesn't really matter. Uh, auto off. Yeah, I'm just going to set auto clock, set on. I always set the brew temperature to the highest, 92, ready to brew. So let's you have to lift up on this sometimes. I guess they're waiting for the cup to be put in. shut it off okay so there you have it these three buttons and this may be your problem if you can't shut it on and off see now it now it's off but it would just stay on before and say not ready so that would be the problem with that just reset it Okay, thanks.